now it gets a lot worse for you tonight uh, on Emmerdale, as we saw there. But I mean, yeah. you wonder how it can get much worse, really. I mean, the, the innocent dizzy girl that came along 12 years ago yeah. is well gone, isn't she? Yeah, she has, absolutely. But it's a worrying trend, isn't it? You know. Um, and a, a, a very interesting story to, to, to In play. terms of the sort of descent into alcoholism. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, Laurel, who's a mum, who's kind of in control, what she thought she was, the glass of wine of the evening yeah. is, you know, her friend, and now, of course, it's... It's her enemy, really. And, and the whole storyline has come at quite a poignant time because um, recently we've just had a report about female, the rise in female drinking. I mean, have you had have you had a lot of people speaking to you about it? And you know, when you have to research it, was it surprising to you? Yeah, we've got an amazing research department at work, <laughs> and I've spoken to lots of women. Um, they've all told me their stories, all different. You know, the shame that's attached to this, um, the denial. And, and that's really helped me, given me a real insight into trying to play it as truthfully as I can, really. Yeah, well, it's a huge responsibility because it is no laughing matter, um, you know, when somebody is in the grip of a an addiction like that. Do you feel that responsibility as an actress? Yeah, you just want to be as truthful as, as you can. And being, my, you know, a mother myself, I understand the pressures of what women are kind of under, you know, that being the perfect mum. And... In Laurel's case, you know, she found that that glass of wine helped her through. It was, like I said, it was her, her friend and made her feel like she could cope. But, of course, it's got out of control. I think it's really interesting that young people are drinking less and less and it is um, middle-aged women who are drinking more and more and that women don't re seem to realise, when, especially when they order like a glass of white wine in a pub, that those glasses have yeah. got larger yeah. and larger and larger. Yeah. And then you think, oh, I'll just have one drink. And after one drink, you can be pretty sloshed, certainly too sloshed to drive. Well, that's what happened with Laurel. She had one glass of wine but had ordered some food, which didn't come, and then she had to go and pick her daughter up. And, of course, she was over the limit. Yeah. Um, but she'd only had one glass of wine. Now, do a lot of women, since the storyline's developed, have a lot of women been in touch? What's been the feedback from viewers? Yeah, really positive, actually. Um, really positive. People have stopped me in the supermarket. And, yeah. you know, uh, everyone seems to know somebody in their family or their friends that this has happened to. And probably recognise some of the warning signs themselves, I would imagine, that, yeah. you know, oh, I started off at one glass and now I'm up to a bottle, yeah. you know. Absolutely. Yeah. When they're actually watching the show at yeah. 7 o'clock, you know, on their second yeah. glass yeah. of wine. What's your safety valve, then? I mean, you've got three kids, you've got a busy job, you know, under lots of pressures like everybody else. What, what you know, do you do just to sort of blow off steam? Um, I spin. You spin? <laughs> oh, the, 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 oh, yeah, the on the bike. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, okay. That's great. <laughs> that relaxes me, but... Um... It does not sound relaxing at all. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> 